cavefishes have a problem that they are not only an environment that's dark, but it's an environment that's flowing. So we found this excellent cavefish in Thailand that um, is specialized in these waterfalls. And what these fish do in complete darkness is they stick to the rock and they climb waterfalls completely underwater. Now this is a problem because fish usually do is they sense their environment by detecting water flow. But now this fish not only has no vision because it's complete dark, they have no eyes, they are in a high flow environment. How do they find each other and make babies? How do they sense where the food is? All these imp interesting, important questions. And what I think is super exciting about these fish in general as well is that because they're in these high flow environments, they have uh, fin structures unlike any fish that I have ever seen anywhere out of the 30,000 species of fishes that we know to exist. These fish are truly spectacular and look different than everything else that we've ever seen. They are able to climb up rock faces in very much the same way that salamanders do. So from an evolutionary perspective, this is a huge finding. This is one of the first fish that we have that is a living species that acts in a way that we think fishes must have acted when they evolved from a fluid environment to a terrestrial environment at the very beginning of the fin to limb transition when there were first limbs that evolved in our earliest ancestors. So having a living representative of something where we could see how it moves in these conditions could be hugely important to understanding that huge landmark event in history.